imagine walking into a classroom where every student's learning journey is unique and personalized. Imagine a world where classroom teachers are innovative, they're creating, and they're leveraging the disruptive technologies and innovations that are out there on the horizon. Now imagine yourself as a school leader, as a superintendent, where you want to create that environment and create that world for your students and for your staff. Well, in today's video, we're going to explore AI and how AI is coming into play more and more every day for us in the world of education. So grab a pen, a piece of paper, and get ready to take some notes because we're going to start right now. Hey everyone, Gordon Amerson here, Superintendent of Schools and Gallup Certified Strengths Coach. And on this channel, we leverage my experience from classroom teacher to school district superintendent to help you go further, faster in your educational journey. If this is your first time with us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss any cool updates or any of our latest episodes. So I think it was November of 2022 when the very first version of ChatGPT was released. And this was this new disruptive technology that was out there for the world to consider. While well, I was a very, very early user of ChatGPT, I think it was either November or December of 2022, because I believed at that time, and I still do to this day, that these disruptive, innovative technologies, artificial intelligence, blockchain, Web3, NFTs, I believe that these things are going to be backbones in our society. I believe these things are going to be front and center for us in the education space and even more so for us as educational leaders to carve out and, and pave the way for the future for our students and for our staff. And so in today's episode, I want to just give you three thoughts, three things that I'm thinking about, three big ideas that I think we should be considering, talking about and exploring as educational leaders and as educators who will want to do the best for our students. So let's jump right in to idea number one. All right, so strategy number one is how will we integrate AI, artificial intelligence, into the curriculum? I think it's going to be integral that we as leaders help to start to create the environment and create the space for our staffs and for our leaders throughout education to be able to find new and different and creative ways to weave the uses, the use cases, the power and the opportunities that AI presents for us into our curriculum. So how do we create the right professional development for staff? Because I can understand that this could be a scary endeavor for some folks. This is a new technology. I think about teachers who have been extremely successful in the way that we are teaching currently and how do they think about how they integrate AI into the work that they're doing? How do they continue to infuse technology into what they're doing? So professional learning, professional development is going to be critically important. How do we design curriculum that allows for a lot more fluidity? How do we design curriculum that allows for a lot more innovation and a lot more pivoting and a lot more nuance by leveraging how AI can be iterative, how it can change from day to day in the moment, the needs of one student versus the other. Like how do we create the way to and be able to infuse these ideas into the curriculum by creating the right professional development opportunities for our staff so they can grow their skills, their knowledge, and their expertise. And then the third thing in this integrating AI into the curriculum is really all about the partnerships. The, the technology companies, the startups, the businesses, the organizations who are doing this work front and center, how do we begin to leverage partnerships and build this together? Education can lead the discussion, but we also are going to need to be comfortable being students in this learning journey together because there are companies or organizations who are really leading the edge and really exploring this and discovering what it truly can be. And I think that we want to be good listeners and good learners along that way as well. And I think building those partnerships will create the dynamic connections that will take this to the next level. So as a leader, we want to think about ways of how we are going to integrate 
AI into the curriculum. And we really got to be thoughtful, thoughtful and strategic about how we do that, because this is a new endeavor for many people. And it's going to take time to grow their level of comfort, their level of being ready and willing to take the risk necessary to implement and integrate this into the curriculum. So be thoughtful about that as you consider idea number one. Now, idea number two, it, it truly builds off of idea number one, because if we think about how we're going to integrate AI into the curriculum, then it's all about how do we use AI to personalize learning. And using AI to personalize learning is all about creating the right solutions, creating the right data analysis, creating the right ways to look at the metrics, the evidences of learning, and then using that information to then see every single one of our students and also every single one of our staff members as individuals who have a personalized journey. And you can have a personalized journey with AI because AI can consider the individual knowledge, progress, learning, expertise, learning gaps, things that you do know already, things that you've already been exposed to, things that you haven't been exposed to, and it can tailor make and create the right opportunities to teach you along the way. And I'm referring to students and staff because let's not forget our staff, they're on a learning journey as well especially when you think about and consider AI. Our staff members are no doubt, our faculty members are no doubt content experts. They've gone to school, they've gotten bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and in many cases, doctoral degrees in the subject matter that they're teaching. So they are truly subject matter experts. But none of us in this environment yet, many of us are on a journey and on our way, none of us are subject matter experts in how quite yet to leverage AI as a tool. So when we think about ways of providing teacher support, faculty member support, again, the right professional development, the right ways of building the tools that will analyze the metrics, the data, the information that we'll rely on to make decisions. When we consider all that, we can create personalized learning opportunities. And I can remember going all the way back probably to the early 2000s, when we really started to talk about how important it was gonna to be to individualize learning for students. Every student deserves an individualized learning journey. If we, if we think all the way back to the original delivery of knowledge, all the way back to the concept of the Socratic seminar, Socrates sitting knee to knee with one or two of his students and really asking the right questions and eliciting the right discussion and narratives back and forth where we were able to make meaning. Well, as we've gotten into more contemporary education times, it's now large models, 20 kids per class, 30 kids per class, 40 kids per class. You get into universities, you got hundreds of students per class. So what does AI do? AI allows us to go back to this personalization. What does Gordon as an individual student in my classroom need today? we can use AI to get at that. As a former principal and now superintendent, I can ask myself, what does this principal or what does this department level member or what does this assistant principal or director, what do they need by way of professional growth development and, and support? AI can help us with that. So the personalized journey is a critical idea and I'm grappling with as a leader, how do I create this environment? How do I create opportunities for learning? How do I create these opportunities for growth and for people to think through how AI could help them be more successful, be more professional, be more dynamic? And so I want you to think about what does AI mean for you, your students, your staff, your faculty, your community when it comes to personalized learning? All right, and that's idea number two. All right, before we move to idea number three, share with us in the comments below, what's on your mind related to AI? You as an educator or as a leader, do you see AI as an opportunity? Do you see it as a challenge? Are you concerned? Because we wanna take that information and see that feedback, see those thoughts, and I wanna build more content. 
and build more episodes that can help bridge these gaps, provide additional resources, supports, or inspiration around what are the opportunities that are out there right now in this space. So share that with us in the comments below, and let's talk about idea number three. All right, let's move into idea number three. And I num idea number three has been on my mind for some time because there's been some timely, challenging news stories and things that have happened in school districts that have been in the media for some time. And it made me think back and circle back to the importance of emphasizing ethical AI practices. Like, how do we create the right foundations of ethics and education? Thinking and considering the ideas of bias and bias does exist. And how do we surface that and remind people that bias is always there? And how do we do our best to leverage AI to mitigate for the biases that are inherent in society? How do we make accommodations for privacy to protect our students, to protect our staff, to protect our school communities? How do these things come in? How do these things come into play? Well, as leaders, we get to shape policy. We get to shape practice. We get to create expectations, rules, governing, governing laws, governing policies. We want to make sure that our societal impact as educators is done in a positive way. And so as leaders, we want to be thinking about how do we create that? We also want to be thinking about how do we leverage and use this disruptive technology to continue to expand on hearing, supporting, and expanding on diverse perspectives of people. The dis diverse perspectives of human beings, where we create an environment where everybody can belong, where everybody has a space here. Whether you agree with their perspectives or not, the fact that they have perspectives is valuable. The fact that you can engage in dialogue and you can use AI to expand on the knowledge, the wisdom, the thoughts, the beliefs of people is inherently a good thing because education is predicated on sharing that information, sharing those perspectives, and then having meaningful, thoughtful, productive dialogues and debates about those things. And then I think sitting on the top of all of this as leaders, school site leaders, district level leaders, county, state, federal level leaders. It's all about the policy development. We are in new territory. These rules are not yet figured out. The same way we didn't have the rules figured out around the internet back in the mid 90s, early 90s, mid 90s, when it became a technology that was clearly going to be here forever. Policies weren't all developed yet. We didn't have it all figured out. But if we make a commitment as leaders to that work and we make a commitment to leaders to continue to develop those policies and create the right environments, I think we're going to be in a better place. So we're going to really look forward to the next 10 to 15 years because that's when all of these things will become much clearer and much more real. And... For some of you who might say, well, AI is never going to be used in my classroom. AI is never going to be used in my school because it's cheating. Well, I'll go back to sitting in a classroom as a young, as a youngster back in the late eighties, early nineties and taking out a calculator was cheating. You remember that? Remember when taking out a calculator? or using a calculator was cheating? Using a calculator was cheating until it wasn't. Having the internet and being able to Google something was cheating until it wasn't. And I think that we will continue to worry and, and fear AI until we realize that it is not a tool that's simply there to allow people to cheat, but rather it could be a tool that leverages 
the ability to have all of the information that we could ever want or need. And let's figure out how to harness that technology to increase the learning, to increase the knowledge and wisdom of everybody around us. That's the opportunity that presents itself for us when it comes to AI. So think about that because these are the things that we want to continue to build and increase our knowledge and skills around. We want to continue to explore these topics and create a community that knows and understands that technology, innovation, leadership, how we build communities, how we build environments, how we build healthy, thriving schools and communities is what we're all about. And I think AI is another component of that. So if you want more information about how to continue to build your skills, your knowledge and expertise as a leader, check out this next video here. It's gonna give you a number of thoughts, tips, ideas, strategies. And if you want more information about knowledge, about coaching, mentoring, resources, check out our description below. All right. So as we move forward, continue to grow your skills and your knowledge. AI is here. Let's find ways to embrace it as leaders. Let's find ways to embrace it as educators. And don't forget to check out this video right here. And we're going to see you in our next video or in our next episode. Be well, everyone. Take care of each other. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.